Hello my friends and welcome to episode 4 of our Football Manager 2019 Let's Play with the famous Glasgow Rangers. Today we're taking on Hibs who are unbeaten in the league right now. Hopefully we can end that. In the last episode we had that really frustrating situation. I'm trying to get clarification on the real end. Seems to be two uh, opinions regarding it. If you didn't see it, go back and check it out because it's a really bizarre situation. I don't think I've ever seen it in real life. But it's one at the time I was really angry with. Reading some people's comments, it might be the correct ruling though. I'm still unsure. I'm trying to get clarification before I report it as a bug or leave it and accept I was wrong. The formation though has stayed as the 4-1-4-1. And as you see, results have really improved. So, after that game, we played Livingston. We won 3-1. Dolly Menga scoring for them. Alexander Isaac getting two goals. And Eros Gresda in his first start scoring as well. He played. Candice was a bit tired. So, I just thought, you know what? I'll give him a bit of a rest. Despite him scoring two hat-tricks in a row. But, it's a lot of game time. Three games in seven days. And it was catching up with him a little bit. If we actually go back. Isaac's goal is only the second or Isaac's first goal was only the second goal we have scored by a striker since Alfredo Morelos against Scoopy. Pretty insane, but it shows you what wasn't working with the 4-2-3-1. Since then, you see a lot of striker goals now, so you've got Isaac straight away, Isaac Lafferty and Isaac scoring after this game. Um, and even this Lafferty goal was a penalty from a corner. So that highlights that the formation change is working. So then we played Hearts, who were high, flying high in the league, as they are in real life. We won 2-0. Manor Solomon getting his first goal, eh, first competitive goal for the club. And Alexander Isaac, as I mentioned, scoring as well. Before we played Hamilton, where we won 3-1. Barisic with an own goal here. Um, I feel a bit sorry for them in this one. Manor Solomon had opened the scoring. Um, they got a corner, it was saved well by McCrory, it fell to one of their players, Barisic tackled, again it fell to one of their players, he shot, shot wide, Barisic still on the deck from the tackle, bounces off his head, goes in the back of the net, Barisic own goal. Alexander Isaac puts back in front before a late Barisic penalty, put, uh, stealed all three points. We then played Kilmarnock, we drew three all against Kilmarnock again. I still feel this game was really unlucky as well, we went in the lead with a James Tavernier penalty. It was a clear penalty. Tavernier slotted home. Barisic wasn't playing because I accidentally promised Lee Wallace first team football. Trying to keep that squad harmony. They equalised from a rebound uh, from a free kick. It was saved by McCrory. It fell straight to their player. Went in. Um, they went in front from a corner again. It was saved. Rebounded. and went. In. No, that wasn't. What am I saying corner for? Um, they, they scored anyway. They got through. McCrory saved and it fell straight to the player again. And he scored it on the rebound. We equalised with Kyle Lafferty. Went ahead from Joe Worrell through a corner. And then Connor Goldson. And this goal I'm actually going to show you. Because I am certain in this goal he has fouled. It's an own goal as it's gone down. He does get the last touch. But I'm pretty certain he, that he has fouled. So they've got a free kick fairly deep in their half. I've probably shown you a bit too much of the highlight. But it comes forward, as you see, Greg Kilty has it here in sort of the left area, gets it to Finlay, forward for Jose, uh, Jorge Miguel, and he's going to whip it in. And as you see, Golson falls down, but then as he falls down, he sort of does a weird slide where he catches the ball. Don't know why he goes to ground in that situation. The angle he goes, it just doesn't seem right. It could be one of those sort of uh, animation errors. I've seen a couple, I've reported a couple, um, but that one just didn't look right. Then we played St Mirren, we won 3-0, Alexander Isaac with a brace, Glenn Middleton with a goal. I actually played this game during the St Mirren game that was played in real life. On the same day, um, I had the St Mirren game on my right monitor and I had this game on my left. Bit of a weird feeling playing that game on the same day. Um, obviously this is, will be going up on Sunday, um, I'm recording this on Saturday evening. Got another video recorded tonight as well. Today we're going to take on Hibs. I'll show you the league table just to evidence they are indeed unbeaten. We're only three points behind an unbeaten side, which is fairly good. Uh, our loss to Celtic, the only loss that we've got 
um, whereas they have drawn against Celtic, I believe. Did they have at home? Uh, this game is at Easter Road, though, so that might make it a bit trickier. But we're going to get to pitch side. I'm going to select my team. I will see you there. So we've had to make some changes due to injury, some due to fitness. So McCrory's still in net. McGregor is back in light training, but nowhere near ready for first, uh, for football yet. Going with Tavernier on the right, Goldson and Worrell in for Kitch, who's just struggling a little bit with fitness. Barris is on the left. McCrory is rotating with Rossiter now. We've got Arfield and Dorrance in the midfield. Candias is injured, so uh, Grez does in. Kent, uh, Solomon, Murphy all injured. So Middleton plays on the left with Alexander Isaac up top. I think it was Ainsley Harriet who suggested him. I'm going to apologise if the name was incorrect, but he's been absolutely phenomenal since getting a chance in the first team. And it's making it really difficult because Morelos is putting in 10.0s in training, but Isaac's banging in the goals. And Morelos had a little knock, which is why he initially went out. But Isaac's grabbed a chance fully. Um, and shown what it means to be a number nine. A really good decision, I think, to get him. So thank you to the man who suggested him in the live stream in episode for episode one because it's really, really worked out well. Dorans in his first... I think it's his first start for Dorans. I think he played a little bit on the right wing off the bench and he's played in the reserves to build up his fitness. Middleton down at 75% fitness. Did he pick up a knock or did I miss it? He was shattered. Either way, I don't really know if there was much I could do about it. Here he is on the ball, though. Gresda. Can't get the ball in as McLaren nicks it off him. Straight on the press, though, which is good. Tavernier heads down only as far as David Gray. Hebs looking to build an attack. Malin over the top. Oh, Connor Golton sleeping at McLaren, who won the ball initially with the shot. Saved by McCrory. Golton clears. Milligan, a very good player in this game. He's very old. Um, I'd never heard of him before until I loaded up a hip save during the beta, but he's absolutely phenomenal. Got He's fairly senior. Uh, I think they'd signed him out of Saudi Arabia or somewhere, so it looks like a very, very good find for Hibs, um, if he's as good as he is in the game in real life. That's off the bar. Our field clears. Can we counter? No, we can't. Um, okay, so we're not showing up just now. Milligan. Malin. Really rate Malin as well. Uh Vodosk, uh, Madden, Gray comes inside past two men. Crunch and tackle from Ross McCordy, but nobody goes to the ball. Vodosk, Hanlon, Hibbs, a legend. Well, I don't know if you class him as a legend, but he's certainly been around for a good while. Very loyal to the club is Alexander Isaac. Oh, he's hit the post on the counter. Milligan gets in just before him for the rebound. Oh, so close. So, so close. Still got Lafferty on the bench, we've got Fodden on the bench, we've got Ajaria, we've got ways to change this if we need to. That goes over the top of uh, Rod Robbie McCrory's goal. He's got to play it out to Connor Golton, who's picked up a yellow. Tavernier swings forward, launched it again. Oh, it was a great ball for Isaac, but it smacked a Hibs defender in the face. I don't think he knew much about it, but it's a poor clearance. Graham Dorans picks up. Ah, Milligan all over him. Pass is poor, though, and it's fallen kindly for Isaac. It's in the back of the net. Alexander Isaac. A huge strike of luck there. We were unlucky with the initial pass that would have carved the defence open. The back pass, though, if you see it here, the clearance is poor. Dorans gets a touch. Malin intercepts. Poor pass pass to Milligan. Isaac with a challenge. The challenge on Dorans, I think it was, falls kindly for Isaac. Into his path. He takes a touch. Inside. Off the inside of the far post. If you see it here, I don't know why we're getting an offside decision there. But that is where the decision is made. Um, Middleton's really struggling, isn't he? Do we bring him up? I don't really want to bring him off in the first half. That would be embarrassing for the kid, wouldn't it? That's a great ball across Barisic into Middleton. We're going to have to. He's shattered. That, that was a touch and he was asleep almost. McLaren. Whipped across Camberry. It's disallowed, it's disallowed. It is disallowed. I was going to say no flag. Maybe Tavernier was playing him on. I don't think he was, though. Oh, yeah, he's well... It, it would have been Barisic playing him on, if anyone, but he was well behind Barisic there. We are going to have to bring on Lafferty for middle in. Can, he can manage the left-hand side, uh, Kyle Lafferty. It's not his most... Uh, 
perfect position in the world, but you know, he can manage it. Goldborn whips in for Hindman, former Rangers loanee, of course, on loan from Bournemouth to Hibs this year. I'm glad they've only got him until January, because if they don't renew that, you know, we're drastically weak in one of our rivals. That's a great ball from Barisic, can't quite get to Isaac. Lafferty picks up, plays it to Arfield. Oh, it's a really poor pass from Arfield into Dorans. Camberry, Waddle with a crunching challenge, and a great ball from Arfield. Isaac's in. 2 0. Alexander Isaac, the man on loan from Dortmund, and was recommended to us, showing why he was recommended to us. What a recommendation he's been. I don't know if I can put Morelos back in this squad, you know, because he's been so good. But, again, a strike of luck with the challenge. But, again, the ball put, put us in there. It was a great ball from Arfield, forcing the defender to make that challenge. And it really worked out. Malin whips it across Tavernier, heads away, does find Gresda. Dorans, back to Gresda, back to Dorans, And then a searching ball for Isaac, creating the angle. Can he find the ball to Kyle Lafferty? No, he can't even find the ball. Maybe slip behind him a little bit. Milligan wins it. Uh, Malin, I think it was, winning it in the air. Worrell clears it from Camberry. Dorans to Arfield. Searching ball again from Dorans. Arfield wins it in the air. Gresda, Tavernier. Arfield again. Dorans again. Can he find a pass here? He can to Barisic. Decent ball in from the man with 18 crossing would be nice. But David Gray meets it. Oh, it's a penalty. Isaac is not my penalty taker's list, but I'm not taking it off him when he's on a hat-trick. Hat-trick for Alexander Isaac. First hat-trick of the series. Uh, no, it's not, actually, because Candia scored two. Never mind. First striker hat-trick of the series goes to Alexander Isaac. Recommended to us, and he's been absolutely smashing. Isaac is on fire. Ugh. Arfield tied in as well, which is actually a bit of a shame because he's had a fairly good game, apart from a couple of poor passes to Doran. But the rest of it's been very, very good from him. Hibs are playing a 5-3-2, which I find fairly interesting. Their players are very, very good in midfield, not necessarily the best in defence. Uh, I'm going to go with don't get complacent. I do feel really bad for Glenn Middleton having to come off in the first half. I think I've missed him being knackered at the start of the game. Either that or he's picked up a really bad knock very early on um, without it being an injury and he's just never recovered from it. Barisic with the corner, whips in, back stick, Waddles there, Milligan blocks a shot, comes out for Gresda, Eros Gresda, the man from Uziek, finishes off the corner, whipped in by his teammate who also played for Uziek, and the Albanian makes it 4-0, this is an unbeaten hip side so there are no mugs, and we're making light work of them, this 4-1-4-1, recommended to me by the FM Rangers group, there's a lad in there, absolutely smashing it with Rangers. I was struggling and I basically just said to him, what formation are you playing? And he gave me it, fair credit to him, and, you know, I merged it in with what my initial formation was and it's really working. As Cam Berry does put it in the back of McCrory's net, no clean sheet for the young keeper today. We wouldn't have expected a clean sheet against an unbeaten Hibs, to be fair, but we've absolutely bossed this game. And I think you can even tell, just this tactical change, you can tell just by my demeanour, I'm enjoying this game a lot more. It's nice when you're winning. It's difficult when you're losing and you feel like there's nothing you can do. And i would had that for a long time, and even at the end of the beta. We're bringing uh, Ovi Azaria on for Arfield, who's starting to tire. Um, Solomon's out for five to six weeks as well from memory, I can't remember his exact injury, but he should be back. He's nowhere near as bad as the other wingers. And, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world that uh, Glenn Middleton gets some game time, as Worrell does really well to get back there. Didn't think he was going to make it. Great work from Joe Worrell, and for the tired Nikola Katic. I'm just going to praise the lads here and just give them, you know, that bit of confidence. We're winning 4-1. They deserve a bit of praise. And I just want to counter that... Um, Inspired by feedback from Neil Lennon. So Vika, Malin, whips it across to Nellum. I might actually have a look at signing Malin, to be honest, because he's really, really good. Fairly young as well. Nellum, another player that I'd consider looking at. I um, really need to actually go and scout some of these guys. Actually, let me know. Do you know what? The January window is coming up. So let me know what kind of players would you want me to sign in January. 
Isaac's been a great recommendation, so... And everyone that was recommended during that live stream is on my short list. Some of them are not quite realistic targets. I think the goalkeeper that was recommended to me, I can't remember his name, uh, Endin Kovacic. Um, big begins with an L. It's not, that's not his full name, Kovacic. Um, but he was recommended to me and I went out, I tried to get the board to sign him as Kyle Lafferty puts it in top bins from Barisic's other corner. Showing that our two different routines, making sure we're all playing with um, left-footed uh, crossers uh, with Barisic is working. Oh, he didn't put it in top bins. He's put it in Bogdan. Bogdan's had a howler there. Smashing stuff. We're going to, Neil Lennon's gave them a show some passion. They've responded to it. Let's give another praise. I don't think that praise went through, you know. Barisic whips in for Ovi Ajaria, cleared away, comes out to Kyle Lafferty. Back to Joe Worrell. Ross McCrory, across to Barisic. Gresda flicks on, only finds Effie Ambrose, Ajaria, Ross McCrory, Dorans. Great ball into Kyle Lafferty on the left wing. I don't know how good his crossing is. Ajax hit the bar. Oh, it's falling behind them. And everyone's sleeping there. If he They'd just been a little bit awake. Dorans, cackled, Barisic, McCrory. Don't know how good his crossing is, but he finds Barisic quite cleverly, actually. Comes inside now to Azaria. Played across to James Tavernier. His crossing's fairly decent. Can he get the ball in, though? Oh, he does. Backstick. Kyle Lafferty there again. It's five for the day. This has been a perfect game, almost. Hibs come to us unbeaten. Top of the league, the team to beat, and we have responded. This will probably send Celtic top. We're only a point behind Celtic. We are the form team in the league right now. I believe we can beat anyone on this form. And, you know, you've got Kyle Lafferty. We've still got Morelos there as well. We've got goals in the team in abundance now. As I thought that was <laughs> going to be a red card or something for a second yellow. But it's a six. One victory for us at Easter Road. That is great news. And a great performance. And I'm glad I've been able to show you a performance because the last couple of episodes have been horrific. Let's have a look at the schedule. We're going to come back for this Aberdeen game. A sort of like the stopgap between this and the Celtic game. So I will hopefully catch you tomorrow for Aberdeen versus Rangers at Pataudre. Last time we were there, we drew one all, nine, uh, ten men apiece. Tavernier and Scott McKenna scored on that day. Hopefully we can go there and get a result again um, in the 5th of December.